Eric, and I'm here today to show you how to make a glowing outline. This was requested by my girlfriend Ashley, aka Pink Chaos, and first off, you 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 want to have a really nice back, d nice dark background in order to make it have glowing edges. And if you want it to have, if you want to still want to have a bright, a bright background, then you would have to make the edges actually dark. Like, a, instead of like having glowing edges, it would be like, it would be dark glowing edges, like black, for example. But I'm going to work with a uh, white. I had a, I filled this entire background over here with a, uh, with white. I mean, with black. And. I am going to show you how to do this. Alright, first of all, you have your entire character selected. Alright, and you, it's, this is a good tool to uh, get a lot of the stuff uh, pretty much selected, but you might f miss a few, uh, few parts in there or you added a, f a little too much. Let me uh, zoom in on here. Say I there's this little part that I uh, didn't want to get, so I would hit the uh, the Option key for for Mac users or for Windows users. It would be the Alt key, and you see that little minus over here on the uh, the selection tool. You just select around here. Uh, there we go. Oops. Well, I think that was supposed to be adding, but yeah. Just add a little bit there. And there we go. And you saw what the uh, the Alt and the Shift keys do, so yeah. That's nifty. And then you would... Over here you would go under Edits, and you could go to Copy. And here's the command over here and how to use it. It'll be a com uh, command C for the shortcut, or you, for Windows users, it would probably be control C or something. But I'm going to do that. Edit. And I'm going to go to go over here to edit again. And then you would go to paste, which the, op the shortcut is command V, or for Windows, it would probably be uh, uh, control V. And what you'll get here is a layer by itself. And you want to select that layer, double clicking it. There you go. And to have that outer glow, you go over to here. And you see that that's already taking place, that glow. But it doesn't have to exactly be that color. You can go over to here. That's. That's in case if you want a gradient or something. Like, say, for example, I, I wanted to do that. Yeah. That is enough to but... I'm just going to use a regular uh, regular one. Uh, and you can mess around with the, uh, the size and spread of it. I don't have to worry about... I don't think... It spreads too too much of a worry. It just makes it. I think you're good with the uh, the size for the most part. But then there you go. But if you wanted to uh, make the background, you know, come more alive, you could always download these brushes. Like there's like star brushes. There's hearts. There's Playboy. <laughs> Uh, just a bunch of shit out there. It's awesome. Uh, let me uh, do an example. Choo, 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 choo. Yeah. There we go. Actually, this is. There we go. Let me uh. Now the bracket keys to uh, to uh, make it, uh, the brush smaller. It's next to the uh, the P key, 
is there's the left one, there's the right one, the left one does this. The right one does the exact opposite. Yeah, let me uh, change the color on here. Just something lighter. Screen, screen's really good, the mode, but you can uh, choose something else if you'd like to your desire. And then we do this. That's looking good already. Bitchin' huh? Yeah. Uh. You know what? Why not use something like? Why don't we use this brush? There we go. Alright, that's not exactly perfect, but you know what I mean. Alright, well, I hope you found this to helpful, especially you, Ashley. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.